for Miss Christine Levine, ladies and gentlemen. children, but I'm telling you, I, I'm fighting them on this. They don't know that it's fantastic. I love having fat kids, because I have all these friends with the skinny, busy children that are always doing stuff all the time, and like, I want to hang out with them, but man, they're tired. And I'm like, hey, come on over. And they go, oh, Christine, I really wish I could, but I can't. I've got to take Hunter and Aiden to soccer practice and karate. And then they've got buttoning class, a calligraphy, and little aviators class. <laughs> it's hard just listening to these dumb bitches. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Do you know, you know what I have to do with my kids? I mean, I, I appreciate what they're doing. Like, I get it. Oh, they're paying other people to spend time with their kids so that they don't have to. Very clever. <laughs> I've never heard of me. But I, I just, I mean, what I do with my kids is I take half a volume, drink some wine, and me and my fat kids end up sitting around the TV making fun of the people on intervention. <laughs> Hanging out. <laughs> fat kids are awesome. I had a child molester move in across the street from me. I was the only parent on my block that didn't give a shit about that. <laughs> Bodybuilder, how's he gonna even get the strength to come over and get one of my kids? Like, he didn't lift the window and drag one of my little dough balls across the street <laughs> to his pervert lair. <laughs> and if this guy thinks that one of my fat kids is gonna suck his dick, he's got another thing coming. <laughs> they don't even eat broccoli. <laughs> to live across the street was when the kids were little, they could tell that I didn't give a shit. Yeah, that was the best part. They knew I didn't care. And they would be like, Mommy, aren't you afraid the bad man's gonna get me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, it's a very difficult conversation to have with even one of your girlfriends, but you try explaining to a chubby eight-year-old, Honey, he's not that into you. <laughs> Good for you people, whoever that is, whatever. It's lost people choosing to be child free. Good job. I don't understand it because I just tripped and some dick falls into me and I get knocked out. I, I remember when the kids were little and they asked me how they got here and I just point to a glass of wine and be like, fucking hell. choosing not to have children anymore, and I think that's great. You can choose all you want not to have kids, but you, when you meet a breeder like me, don't rationalize your decision. Don't explain to me why you fucking don't want kids. I know why you don't want kids. I've got them. Let me take, yeah, let me take a crack at this. Oh, maybe it's because you like sleeping. Close. Maybe you had a hope and or dream that you wanted to attain someday. Right? Maybe you just don't want your pussy looking like you swallowed a dog and it chewed its way out. <laughs> While I'm on the subject of dogs, child-free people, guess what? Your dogs, not your kids. Not the same, I know, news, right? Ah, no, not the same thing. You know how I know? Because if my daughter comes home with a broken leg, I can't do this. <sighs> Eight hundred dollars. <laughs> well, she's almost fourteen. Not the same thing. 
my kids were the fatties in school and they all got made fun of. Uh, my daughter had it worse, I think, more than the, the boys did. But man, she she was a trooper about it. She got made fun of this one time uh, really, really bad. And this kid was just chasing her all the way home saying, you're fat, you're fat, you're fat. As if she can't read the husky tag on the back of her shirt. <laughs> stupid. She got it. And so she finally, she finally makes it to the house and I guess she closed the door and uh, then she started crying and then her brother uh, met her at the door with a snack. That's how we operate in my house. And he said, Sabrina, why are you crying? I made you a buttered sugar sandwich just like you like. <laughs> God, the kids just shut up and fry it for you. What's wrong? <laughs> well, get rid of Jesse. Shut it up. <laughs> yeah. And then Sabrina explained to her older brother, Christopher, what the problem was. And he said to her, he said, well, why didn't you turn it around on him? Why didn't you tell him, oh, yeah, well, you're ugly or adopted or stupid or something. Why didn't you fight for yourself? And Sabrina said, because I'll never make them feel the way that they make me feel. I'll never do that to another human being. And honestly, when I heard that, I started crying. Because in that moment, I realized that there's no way this kid is mine. <laughs> right? I don't know where my real daughter is or how to get to her. I imagine she's trapped somewhere on a hippie commune. <laughs> she's fat and they're just stuffing her with kale and they don't get it. <laughs> can't get rid of her, so whatever. <laughs> well, that brings me, I had an abortion once. <laughs> not, like, not like one of those cute little abortions that you girls can do now. You know, the kind where you just take a pill and then you can tweet about it. <laughs> Wasn't gas, LOL, hashtag toilet. <laughs> no. I do the cute kind and a big girl abortion. Anyway, so I'm talking about it with this lady in line with me at the grocery store. <laughs> okay, look, in all fairness, it was a long line and I am chatty. And I just thought, we're friends, we're getting along, things are going good. And she turned on me, she got mad at me, and she said, Why? Oh, you killed your baby! Yeah, and I said, well, What? And I honestly had never considered that before. I never thought about it like that. I was like, oh, geez, she's right, man. I did. I killed my baby. That is such a savage thing to do. I was just, oh. And I told her, I said, you know what? I'm so glad that you presented it to me like that. I never thought of it like that in my whole life. Thank you. You know what? If my kids knew that, they'd clean their rooms faster. <laughs> prison room. <laughs> yeah. So asses and elbows with my fat kids now, they're like looking at each other going, did you hear that? There used to be four of us. The warden is crazy. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for coming.